Welcome to the show, everybody. It's the Crypto Lark. Today, we're going to be talking about the Pixio ICO. They're bringing secure personal data solutions for business to the blockchain. This is a company that's been in operation for years already. They've won multiple awards for innovation, fintech, blockchain. We're going to be getting into just what their ICO is all about after a quick shout out to everyone who's been hitting that like button and of course everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. Furthermore, this is of course not professional financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. This is an ICO. Please do your own due diligence before investing your own money because there is always a certain amount of inherent risk in investing in any ICO. Furthermore, the team at Pixio has reached out to me to do a sponsored review of their project. However, I have of course reserved the right to do an open and honest review. So let's get into it. Of course, in order to understand why Pixio Chain is so interesting, we of course have to understand what is the problem that they're trying to solve. Personal data is a huge asset class, and it's one that is highly under-monetized. And even though it is a very big asset potential, it is also a very big risk for companies. The problem, of course, comes from centralization. We have centralized servers, centralized databases, millions of dollars, millions of people's data locked up by a single password sometimes. Hacks do happen. We've had some major data leaks recently. For businesses, it's really hard to authenticate that the data you get is legitimate. Of course, it's hard to avoid fraud as well. If you're a personal user, you get almost nothing for your data from anyone. Big companies take it from you and sell it at will. You don't know where your data is. You don't know who has your data. And of course, you're not getting paid for it. And data is valuable. Data is the oil of the digital economy, but it's hard to monetize without blockchain. The guys over at Pixio Chain are setting up a data ecosystem where you're gonna be able to buy, sell, and exchange your data with confidence that the data that you're getting is authentic. Now, with Pixio, you're going to be able to control your data, control who you share it with and how you share it with them. It is a permissioned system. You share, you get paid. There's a few different elements to the Pixio ecosystem. One is, of course, Pixio Chain itself. This is a distributed permission-based platform for the collection and the certification and the exchange of data. We're also gonna have Pixio Me, which is a personal app for individuals that allows them to access the network. Now this is a freemium service, so most of it is free, but there are some premium services that are also accessible. We have Pixio Pro. Now this is the business solution. So this is smart contracts for buying and selling data, and this is a paid service for businesses. So this is part of the way that they will monetize the ecosystem. They'll of course have multi-layer encryption to make sure that your data is secure because it doesn't work if it's not secure. The token will be used to buy and sell data in the Pixio chain ecosystem. It'll of course allow you access to the ecosystem too. It will certify data. It will enable smart contracts as well. And of course, it'll help businesses to authenticate the data. Now there's some interesting use cases for Pixio. We could, for example, look at uh, KYC. So let's know your customer laws. Right now, it's a slow and costly process, but using something like Pixio Chain, you can make it secure, cheap, and efficient. What about medical data? Now, you as an end user don't really have very much control over your medical data, not to mention of course, that it's insecure sitting in some outdated data center somewhere. And of course, what happens if you're in an emergency? What happens if you get an accident? Are they gonna be able to effectively access your data to know that you have an allergy to a certain medicine, for example? Not necessarily, but if you have an identity on the blockchain that is easily accessible, well, then all these things become possible. Not to mention, of course, the possibility for things like driver licenses to be put on to the blockchain in the future as well. Pixio 
has been able to get some really great partnerships together. Now, for example, we have BNP Paribas, which is a giant French bank. We have Telefonica, which is the world's 10th largest telecom. We have Juve, which is a French IT company. PricewaterhouseCooper has expressed interest in the Pixio technology. We also have other partners like Lloyds Bank, for example. And the big one, I think, that is of the most interest to the cryptocurrency community, of course, has to be NEO. NEO has invested a lot of money into Pixio. It will also be an NEP5 token, so you'll be able to store this in your NEON wallet. The CEO of Pixio Chain is Didier. Now, Didier has a long experience working as an entrepreneur in the software industry. He's also the CEO of Match Up Box, which is the company that's behind Pixio Chain. If you start checking out some of the other people here, we've got some guys with some really great experience in software and in hardware and in engineering data. So a pretty strong team here all around. A smallish team at the moment. Obviously, we'll look to that to expand post-ICO, but there are some good players in here without a doubt. On the advisor side of things, we have Zhou Zhao. He's probably the, the biggest hitter that we have here at the moment. He's the founder of Alt Options Limited Liability Company. This is a Bitcoin options trading platform based in the U.S., as well as launching one of the first Ethereum-based projects. Now, we don't have any, for example, Dahong Phase on here, even though they are associated with NEO. We don't have any of that kind of high-level advisory coming from the NEO team, but there is that close relationship, although no one here is listed on the website. Having a look here at the roadmap, not too much to look forward to going through the year. Now in quarter two, we'll be seeing the launch of Pixio Lab, which will be the smart contract builder. We'll see the iOS Pixio wallet coming out as well in quarter three. We'll have some more infrastructure being put forward. 100 or more authenticated personal data connectors and providers in the Pixio chain, which is of course very important. Now, the milestones listed here, I would like to see some more specifics about uh, future marketing and global expansion, for example. I know from talking with the team that there will be an office opening in Bahrain in the near future. And NEO is gonna be providing that support for the subsidiary of Pixio chain in China so we'd like to see that on here as well. But those things are happening. It just hasn't been updated here on the roadmap. Let's talk about some potential concerns that you might want to be aware of before going out and getting invested in the Pixio Chain ICO. This has been a rather low hype ICO. We, in the current market, we're seeing some ICOs sell out within 15 minutes or an hour. And they've actually been going for a couple of months now. Now, this is a really a business-facing idea. They're really hoping to have business customers that they work with. You see that they've already got a lot of great business customers and they have a lot of people interested in using this technology, but it's a rather low hype ICO when it comes down to it. Of course, we also have to think about adoption. Even though they do have a lot of business partners already, will we see more people coming on board to get that sort of critical mass of users in the Pixio chain ecosystem? Traditional companies uh, like Google also present competition as far as the security of data. Now, if you think about cryptocurrency space competition, we might look to someone like Civic, for example. But of course, I think in the cryptocurrency sphere in particular, there's really room for a lot of players, especially around the data uh, thing, because there's so much potential here, because data is such a huge thing, and there'll be no one company to solve all of it and of course another thing is the legal side of things now currently the guys over at pixio chain are working very hard to make sure that they are compliant with all relevant laws and they are currently fully compliant with all existing regulations but data is a touchy subject and data regulations could change in the future and they could change quickly and that might uh, adversely affect in some ways pixio's business model so that's something to keep in mind Overall, though, I think the Pixio chain is a really interesting project. Data is huge. Anyone trying to set up ways to secure and monetize data is going to, I think, be very successful moving forward. They're backed by NEO as well as some other really great partners at very high-level companies. It's an innovative company. They've won so many awards 
for innovation, for development of fintech, for development of blockchain, which is really cool. So, and their global reach is expanding as well with, they already have offices around the world and they're soon moving into the Middle East and into China as well. So definitely a lot of potential here. If you want to get involved in the token sale, you can invest using Ethereum, NEO, or that crazy stuff called fiat currency. There is a 5% discount going until the 16th of March. There is a 30 million US dollar hard cap that makes Pixio tokens at about 80 cents a piece. Now, as far as the token metrics go, 43% of the tokens are available for the public sale. The rest is staying with the team, the advisors, and the foundation in order to incentivize new businesses to come into the ecosystem. I'd like to underline here too that the investment that NEO made into Pixio, they actually just bought $3 million worth of Pixio tokens. So it's a substantial investment from the team over at NEO, and that is how they invested by buying tokens directly. Now, if you do miss out on the ICO, you can always pick it up on exchanges. They're promising to be on exchanges in April. Also, they're promising to have some updates out for the roadmap here coming up pretty soon, so you can keep an eye out for that too. Let me know what you guys think about the Pixio ICO. Do you think that uh, big data is definitely something that should be monetized and made into an asset class? You let me know about it in the comment section down below. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.